So advice to the brother whose family wants him to stay 50 grand. For example. Um, it's always, when someone advises him something, so let's say, for example, the family is advising him to save X amount of money. You have to understand essentially where they're coming from. Uh, what is the basis behind their advice? Is the basis behind their advice um, one where it's attached to the dunya? Then, of course, they need dawah. They need to be, they need to be advised about a dunya. Is it a, is it a case of it's a genuine anxiety or concern, let's say, about not having to come back? Then you advise based upon that. So it's, it's really based upon what, where the person is coming from. So if it's, let's say, for example, it's just a case of dunya. No, and so they say we need. I want to. I want to save this amount of money because I want to live the the, the most uh, the most comfortable life when I when I'm in Hijra. I want to be as comfortable as possible. Which there's no harm in that, and there's no edge to some extent. Why? Because no doubt from the things that we desire are spacious homes, and from the things that I also mentioned is that with the rijal. What we seek from from the men, what we seek from our wives, generally speaking, is that they are within the homes and they're within the safety of their homes. And this is something that is praiseworthy when the, when the, when the woman uh, remains within the home. As is mentioned in the narration regarding Um Salama, where it's mentioned that she did not leave the home except in the coffin, except in, when she was shrouded for her funeral. Alakullin, if now you're saying, you know, we really we want our, our, our wives to remain within the homes. However, this home is going to be the, the size of a cupboard. But we want them to remain within the home. It's not, a, it's not a balanced view. At the same time, it's not a balanced view for them to say, we need to save X amount of money so we have a mansion. We have to, when we go, we have to, have a, we have to live in a mansion. Even though now we live in a council flat and we can't be comfortable. When we go there, we live in a mansion. Nah, and so if it's now the, 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 the driving force behind it is dunya, then they need to be advised about the, the, the theme of the dunya. That the dunya itself is lacks value. So why would you put yourself in jeopardy remaining in this land to save more money in order to make hijra whilst when you when you really understand the nature of this this land that we're in and lands like these, that not it can't be a case of you go at any day without harm. Every day is going to bring about some harm, whether you see it initially or you don't. There's going to bring about harm for for a person. So a person needs to relieve themselves of that as quickly as possible. And so if, like I said, the reason is dunya, then uh, it's uh, they need to be advised about that. If it's a genuine concern where they say we need to save X amount of money because we, I don't want to go there, have hard, fall, fall upon hard times and we have to come back. I don't want to have to come back. And it's a genuine concern and, or, or a fear of that. And so they set a particular target. That target may not be realistic, right? And so, but what is realistic is the opportunity to make hijra, generally speaking. When we think about the person's op uh, ability to make hijra or leave the land, they have many opportunities to do so. And so they should strive to, to attain those, those opportunities or take those opportunities. If, however, um, the person is saying now that I want, to, I want to make hijra, we have to have this money and I fear this, sometimes it's just about reassuring that fear. Reassuring that, no, we don't need this amount because if we have... A, port, a, a fraction of that, we can still live and still still be comfortable and not have to come back. And just and it's just about reassuring those fears that are there. Or it could be that the fears are genuine, either that they're founded, and that you do need a certain mablag, a certain amount of money that that is uh, really suitable. If that's the case, then the person should strive to get that, inshallah. So it all depends on the circumstance. Is is what being is is um, what is requested and what is being now made conditional before they can go, is it something which is uh, reasonable? 
if it's reasonable, then seek to fulfill it. If it's not reasonable, then it's important to try and find out why that condition is being made to be put there in the first place, and then seek to seek to find a, a remedy for that issue. Inshallah.